Hello everybody and welcome back to Ninja Gaiden Black with me Kevin and not Rick. Uh, in the last episode we fought an endless archive in, in order to increase our Ninpo meter by one. We did it and it was worth it. Uh, and in this episode we'll do what we have been trying to do this entire time that we have been inside of the monastery which is to delve deeper. Drop down? Yes. Hop! And immediately we're greeted by bats. Luckily they die by by single shur shur shuriken. Uh, and as soon as you drop down, you'll find Golden Scarab number 13. Number 13. We'll, we'll also find a corpse with unlimited explosive... Explosive? Uh, I, I guess that, that they are. Explosives. Explosive shifts. Huh. And we get a map. Which seems to point us in a rather uh, linear fashion. Uh, by the way, a story to share later, but I have learned to always save, no matter what. And we enter the Corridor of Doom. Seems, uh, seems nice. A large boulder chiseled into the shape of a human face. Its base seems quite unstable. It also seems like the base that base is not its original base, considering that the face is upside down. But whatever. Uh, as we walk down, we come in contact with a wall that we need to explode. And that explosion, I guess, put the face rolling. So immediately, we need to Indiana Jones this, uh, and of course not run into any of the spikes on the floor or the pillars. Basically, in this uh, segment, if you make one li little misstep, uh, you're screwed, and you should definitely start start over. Oh, uh, I did I did I did I didn't mean that. You don't need to do that. I made two mistakes and I'm fine. And I believe I actually made it. Uh, okay. <laughs> ha ha. Huh. Like I said, you have plenty of chances to make it. Huh. With that, we are rewarded with a, a great spirit elixir and a new save spot which we're gonna use immediately. Change back to normal shurikens and kill some bats. So yes, uh, what, I, what I was go, go, going to say before I was inter interrupted by a huge death boulder was that uh, uh, between this episode and, and, and the last uh, I actually died uh, while trying to grind for some uh, for some more essence. Well, but I made it back. Uh, it only it only took like an hour to re replay ev everything, which included you know the endless arc archive part, which. It's not what it's actually called, but I I am call, call, calling it that, so it it might as well be canon. Uh, during that, I also uh, decided to uh, just grind for a, for for some essence, and I actually upgraded the sword to level four, which cost ten thousand uh, essence. Uh, and I noticed that in order to get it to level 5, uh, we're gonna need 20,000. 
So, you know, we're making it back up there. <laughs> As you might also notice, I uh, accidentally uh, turned, well, half accidentally turned in all, all of my scarabs. Uh, which I can tell you is, um, well, I, lo I lost it, sorry. Uh, the re reward for turning in 10 uh, golden scarabs is a Lives of the, of the Thousand Gods, which uh, is basic, basically a health meter extension. Uh, it also heals you fully, if I remember correctly. I keep forgetting if, if it does or doesn't, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna save it uh, as, as like a free heal. Now back back to where we actually are right now. We'll find an old decrepit altar. It must have been actively used for worship in the past, but now it's covered with a thick film of dust. Hmm, probably important, you know. So we continue deeper and deeper. Now these guys that looks like mosquito jellyfish. Uh, they're they're called wasp fiends, but they look not, nothing like wasps. So you know, regular naming fair. Uh, and in my experience, the windmill shur shuriken is uh, the uh, if you can actually actually hit. Yeah, if you can actually hit 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 them with it. They die real real easy, but if you can't re reach and then the the windmill sure 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 can kill kills them in like two or two or three hits. I believe that's all of them. Nope. Well luckily we are a ninja. Oh, I'm gonna wait to pick 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 that up so 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 that I, that I don't lose myself again, or I could drop down again. You know, as you do. <laughs> I'm still get, getting used to 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 the whole talking and playing at the same time thing. Jesus, uh, and I can't really, really tell if I'm making actual progress or not, but, uh, hey, pra practice makes per per perfect, right? I'll pick it up. <laughs> this is Scarab number 14. Uh, in the room with the Wasp Fiends. Also, god damn it. There we go. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell if if it's the actual controls or if if it's me. Uh I'm I'm going to say that it is me in order to not sound quite so salty. But it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to not be salty when it feels like the whole world is against you. Like the world is designed to just... Ste he uh, ninja stepped on the chest in order, to gain, in order to gain some momentum and jump off of it. Okay. So while, while I'm here trying to jump my way back to the top, uh, I noticed just yesterday at the time of this re recording that uh, the Game Grumps, uh, who, who are, uh, by, a, by, a, by the way, a huge ins inspiration for me, started on this, this channel with Rick, having, having a good time playing games with my friends. 
uh, they, they started to play Nin, Nin, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, uh, which uh, that, that's going to be in, interesting because it's either it's either going going to be like they give up par, part way through or they actually finish it eventually, which it feels like they they actually actually might uh, they might actually actually want to finish it because they're they're both like huge huge fans of, of of the game from what I could gather from the bits and pieces of their <laughs> of their conversation uh, oh god in the wasp room the wasp fiend room you'll also find a chest containing a life of the gods oh and now we'll, we'll continue deeper and we'll see what's going on. New save save point in the giant fossil area, which seems weird because the giant fossil lives up there. But who's 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 counting really? Jesus. And as we can continue on down. Uh, down this very, I don't know, foreboding? Yeah, this foreboding stairway to hell, which uh, don't fi fight fight that because uh, we all we all know that the actual stair stairway to hell wouldn't be a stair; it would be an es escalator going the wrong way. And you will be forced to, to to walk it for all of eternity, because that's what hell is. Uh, and as you get down here, as you can see, you'll fight some more. Oh, Wolverine fiends! Uh, endlessly spawning. Which I got re reminded while watching again the, the Grumps playing through Sig Sigma. Uh, blocking is not not only important; it is actually vital, necessary. And as most people know, ah uh... oh, crap, <laughs> uh, blocking is not Aaron's strong strong suit, but. It makes sense then that he would like uh, games like uh, Bl Bloodborne or Dar Dark Souls, which, well, while while they have a block function, or Dark 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 Souls uh, at least, it's not as vital. Uh, further in into the corridor, we'll find Golden Scarab number. Let's see here now, fifteen. As we enter the tombs of the eons, filled with bats. Hmm. Well, and we, and we drop down to find more bats, like a bat out of, out of hell. Ha! Ah. And with this, we find a chest containing an elixir of spiritual life, and I believe with this. I actually have max, yes. So maybe I should actually use it. Just in case. A giant switch is embedded in the floor of the shaft. A strong impact with a weapon should be able to depress it. Simply jump and press the heavy. Nothing heavier is needed. Here we go. And also, instead of uh, tel teleporting in into the battle arena, they actually just jump from the from the top, which I guess could, it could be a pro programming thing, but I th I think it's a cool detail. <laughs> ha! Huh. 
just to be safe, I'm gonna look around here a bit. Because if I was a game 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 developer, I I would hide some something in in those crev crevices. Uh, as the ele ele elevator we went down, but not these guys. We go through. Uh, we go through another huge gate. And we find a chest containing the Vigurian Flail, which is a new weapon. Yeah, a weapon used by medieval Vigurians. It can be swung like nun nunchaku in combat. So it's basically a better version of the, n the nunchaku. Uh, the, 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 their combo... Their... Blah, blah. Their combos are, uh, well, pretty, 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 pretty much identical, only this one does cut, cutting damage and can actually, like, you know, do damage in a way that feels meaningful. <laughs> but for now, I'll go back to the Dragon Sword and I'll leave you with this. Next time on Solo Couch, we will enter this door and see what nightmares await us until then have a good one and i'll see you then bye